Hello students. Uh, this is Godfrey Mayende uh, from the Institute of Open Business and E-Learning, your instructor on uh, in Information Technology 2. And I am going to be illustrating to you Microsoft Access, how to do. And uh, Microsoft Access will be will be covered in the in this outline we shall all first start with introduction and how to create a database and then we shall see how to how creating tables and how to create relationships and creating forms and reports and then creating queries and all these will come into different uh, videos uh, so you'll be receiving uh, this is the first video you will receive the second video after uh, then, uh, in order to be able to do this, we have tried to create an exa uh, a database so that we, as a, which we are going to be using all throughout, so that we have some tables and some fields and primary keys and foreign keys. You remember in our theory class we studied about what a primary key was, and uh, we studied about what foreign keys are, and here now we are implementing the actual uh, usage of access in that so we have three tables product table transaction table and supply table and under the product table is product id product name unit price stock and the product id is the primary key as indicated as pk and the transaction table the transaction id is the primary key indicated as pk and the supplier table we have the supplier id indicated as primary key uh, this is very important for you to know that uh, as we are covering access, we are not covering the entire access content, but we have some specific elements we are covering. One is one should be able to know how to create tables uh, using the table design. And then we have one should learn how to create forms, but we are going to be using the wizard and reports by wizard. And query is where we are going to be using the design view. But under here, we also need to learn how to create relationships, which comes after the, the table tables have been created. But he, unlike other application like Excel, uh, Microsoft Access is connected together. You cannot create forms without making tables. You cannot create reports without making tables. You cannot make queries without tables. So in a way, you have to create uh, your tables and your uh, initially so that you have them perfectly okay. So we are going to start on how do you start uh, Microsoft uh, Access. So if you want to start Access, you click on the Start menu, as you can see, and then you can find Microsoft Access, Access with it there. And Access will open. So in the beginning when you open, this is how the Access window looks like uh, you are now you're going to create a database for this so because we have a data a table which we because it has products transactions and supplier maybe we shall have a database we are going to call supermarket so you click on the blank database here so when you click on the blank database it now allows us to where do you want to save our work so we click on the on on this yellow button which has a pop-up which is browse for location to put your database. So initially here you maybe you have only created a folder and you want to save all your work in the same folder if it's in the exam. Don't just let it save. Like here you see it's saving under a certain location documents. But maybe that's not what I want. Maybe I want to save it in a folder on the desktop. Usually in the exam they tell you to save your work on the desktop and the folder. Usually this folder is under your names. So here you click on the on the yellow button and you can be able to find uh, the different places to save. So here you can choose that I want to save my work on the desktop, which is usually the pre -form. But now here, uh, you are lucky that uh, maybe for me I already created a folder called Good Friday with my registration number. Uh, but for you, you can create a folder before and you save your work inside that folder. Because all your work, Excel, Access, and all your work will be saved in one single folder. And for examination purposes, they will pick the folder and then go and examine that. 
So here I am going to double click. I I I double click on go to share my end. And when I double click on it, I am going to put here the name, file name, which name am I going to save it? I'm going to call it super uh, super market. But the name you can put in a name. And here I'm going uh, after that is done, then you click on OK to accept. And the name you have put will appear here when you're seeing this cursor. So it will appear here. And that means the folder here is showing us under desktop and it's the folder is called my end And then here I'm going to now you click on create. Create will now create the database for you. Create will now create the database for you. So here we are going to click on create. And uh, when I click on create, create now gives us the database. So we have now up here you will see supermarket. We have now created a database and this is the first step of our recording. Um.